Hello everybody, welcome back to Pixie Woo. I am going to do some makeup for you today. Um, it feels like ages since I've been able to put makeup on the channel because I'm always doing makeup off the channel elsewhere where I haven't had time to film it. So I'm going to do my BAFTA look for you now. Whilst I do the makeup, I'll chat because I have got so much to tell you and I want to tell you about the BAFTAs as well. I'm going to take a little bit of Charlotte Tilbury um, Magic uh, moisturiser first and run that on my skin. I've had a little outbreak of spots because um, it's really, really cold here and my skin just dries out and because my skin is so dry anyway, um, it brings me out in spots if it gets too dry for some reason. That's what happens with my skin. So I've got a little cluster there, but hey ho, nothing to really worry about. So yeah, we've been snowed in, so my, I had planned this week to do lots of videos and catch up, but my kids have been off and um, they need a lot of entertaining because they're five and six. Well, it was Edie's birthday, so she just turned five, and um, she was very excited. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll see. She was very excited that on her birthday it snowed and they got a day off school because it was a snow birthday. Um, but yeah, so I haven't been able to do much work that I had planned this week, but it's Friday now and I've managed to sneak off to do some makeup. So Charlotte Tilbury Magic Moisturiser, is that what this is called? Magic Cream. Um, I like this one, makeup sits really lovely over the top of it. So just don't get it near your eyes because it stings like a bitch. I didn't use any primer because I didn't want too much on my skin and then taking a little bit of Charlotte Tilbury Light Wonder. So two Charlotte Tilbury products so far. And I'm going to apply that with a Real Techniques sculpting brush. So I just work that all over the skin. Now I had to do my makeup really, really early because um, even though BAFTA, you don't have to be there until about 5.30, 5 o'clock, um, I was doing Alison Janney's makeup, who was up for a BAFTA for um, Best Supporting Actress for I, Tonya. And she won, and she's just so lovely, so I was so pleased. So my, I had to do my makeup really, really early to get to her so that then I could go straight to BAFTA afterwards. Um, and I hate doing people's makeup when I've got full makeup on. So I was a bit embarrassed anyway, because I was like, when I took, but she knew that I was going to, to the awards and she was totally lovely. But I feel like if you go into a situation with, to do makeup with full makeup on, then people can only judge on what they see. And um, it makes it just more difficult. It's nicer to go in with no expectations, if you know what I mean. But um, oh, she was very, very pleased with her makeup and she looked stunning and was it's just so lovely. I was really pleased. Cut a long story short, my makeup had to last a long time. So I wanted my skin to look really natural because I was going to be really close up in Alison's face. I didn't want to look like I had a mask on because then she might think that that's the makeup I was going to do on her. Um, and that's not the sort of makeup I do anyway. Um, so I went really light on the skin. Oh, dropping stuff. I went, so I went really light on the skin and I concentrated more on the eyes. Um, I took this Tom Ford eyeshadow. This one is in Midnight Sea. It was a limited edition one um, from a while back, but I have found two colours that work in a very similar way. Again, Charlotte Tilbury. It's not a Charlotte Tilbury video, it just so happens that these were the two that I found, but you kind of have to mix them both together. This is um, Varushka and Cleopatra, and these two mixed together, if you can see, make the colour of the Tom Ford one that I wore, and then the Tom Ford one has like a blue eyeshadow that goes over the top. So that's the one I wore, so the one I'm going to use, but... As you can't get it anymore, these two um, Charlotte Tilbury ones can do a very similar job. Or it's just a case of quite of mixing things to get the right colour that you want, if you like this colour. So, I'm going to start with the um, paint pot. And I'm taking that on a Real Techniques base shadow brush. And that I just pushed over the eyelid and the majority of it went on the mobile lid. The mobile lid is the bit that when you blink, it moves. So I really kept the main colour there. And then what was left on the brush, I kind of dragged outwards. Now, Sam was having her makeup done by Alex Babsky, who is the Lancome makeup artist, and he's brilliant. Um, and she also had her hair done um, at the Lancome studio as well that they have at BAFTA. 
So I was like, oh my God, my makeup's got to last all day and my hair is completely unmanageable. So all I did was I let it get really greasy gross I know I let it and then I put some oils through it as well and I brushed it back and I bought myself a really pretty headband um, that had a mesh bit over the front so that I could go really heavy on the eyes it didn't matter about my makeup too much because um, it was kind of mystically covered it was really pretty um, which I will show you at the end so I, I could afford to go a little bit heavier with the eyes and it didn't matter about my hair at all it was just scraped back which is hence why I've got a headband on now for doing the makeup. I then got a clean dome shadow brush and just buffed out the edges so that that all blended out really beautifully. Isn't it nice? It's like a, I would say sludge colour. It's like algae. I just love it. It's this, it's got this kind of metallic slip through it oil slip it's just a really beautiful color and it's such a shame that tom ford don't have it out but i'm sure they will bring it out again i really like the size of this medium shadow brush it just fits on the socket really nicely to buff the product in and then a clean brush to make sure that looks more seamless as possible smoky then I'm just going to take the lid, which has this blue kind of turquoise eyeshadow in. It's a bit like Tilt by MAC and Aquatic. Is it Aquatic? Aquadisiac mixed together. And that just buffs over the top. So it makes it have this beautiful kind of bluey tone to it. The eyeshadow on its own is lovely, but with this mixed... And the great thing about these is the more you buff them in, the more the reflex come out and the more shiny it gets. I did actually put a little bit of glitter over the top just to make it even more show-stoppy. So at the BAFTA, there was a lot of A-list celebrities. We had, as we walked down the red carpet, Angelina Jolie was beside us, Margot Robbie, and then I turned around and uh, Jennifer Lawrence was there. I was like, oh my God, this is insane. Um... And people queue up and then they get their photos taken and um, people are like, oh, you're going to queue and have your photo taken. No one cares about us. So Sam and I just went in because it was cold. But I know a lot of the other um, vloggers and stuff that I saw there all had their photos taken. And afterwards, I'm like, I should have had a photo taken. I spent so long doing my makeup. I'm just too embarrassed at those sorts of places to have it done. So... Um, you know, it's not about us, it's about the actual people that have been in the movies and been acting. But, um, so I can recreate it for you here and now and relive it anyway. And then I took a little bit of MAC Blues eyeliner. This is like a really deep blue, almost black. Oh, and I dropped it on the floor and stubbed it. That's very annoying. No mind, no mind. So then I took a MAC Blues eyeliner and just ran that along the top lash line. And in the top waterline as well. And then took a Real Techniques, this is actually a brow highlighter brush and just buffed that lining away. So it almost disappeared and then I applied it again. That's the thing with makeup, you need to apply and blend and then apply and blend. That's why brushes are so important to make your makeup last that bit longer. Oh, I've got a bit low there. So I'm just gonna use my finger, my oils for my finger, just to wipe that away. See how it drags it up? Where's my blending brush? Check that that's all blended out again. I then just added a little bit of flesh tone concealer just in the water, in the water, waterline, um, just to lift that a little bit because I wanted to keep the underneath um, quite clear so it looked, um, I don't know, I suppose a bit more subtle. I wanted the emphasis just to be on the top of the eye. 
and I actually dragged that right up here as if that line had carried on and blended it because this is the MAC, oh, it's a concealer pen actually, pencil um, this one is in NW, NC15 and NW20 it's kind of a mixture of the two, two NW20 just get a clean brush and just buff that away once I can seal a bit more in a, min in a minute, that won't be so noticeable anyway. Then in with some mascara, YSL Volume of Fame. I did put lashes on as well, but were, I'll do them right at the end. Then a little bit onto the brows. I have got um, Charlotte Tilbury. This is in the colour Supermodel. Um, I like that this is quite soft, so it doesn't give me... A too strong a brow because I have had my eyes microbladed I actually had them done about a year or so ago um, and they're starting to fade a little bit so I do need to go and see uh, the lady who did them they're meant to last about a year some people it will last longer some it will last less but I've got a few little gaps where they're not showing quite as much so I'm gonna go and see Nez and see if she can do them again for me so it just creates a little bit of shape, but it's still nice and soft. That's why I like this brush, this um, eyebrow pencil. I like to always brush the brows through after I've done it, so a little bit of the colour blends through and grabs onto the brows as well. Just makes it that little bit softer, because I don't want a really strong brow line that looks like I've just cut them out and stenciled them on. Then a little bit of Illamasqua Clear Brow Gel just to brush them up. I quite often use soap, but sometimes soap can set a little bit white if you put too much of it on, even if you go for the clear one. So when I'm going to an event, um, this is a nice one to use because it does really set them into place. A lot of brow gels are more like mascaras, they're still a bit movable. This one sets really well. So I've got a bit of a cold, so my nose keeps going <laughs> when it kind of wheezes. I'm really sorry if you can hear that. It's putting me off a bit. Okay, so eyes are nearly done. I'm going to go back to the skin. Um, I'm going to start with concealing. I'm going to take this um, Dark Circles Under Eye Awakening Concealer, um, Medica 8. I don't know if it actually does anything, but I use it because I feel like it's going to. <laughs> I'm desperate to get help for my under dark circles under my eyes and Unfortunately, that's just my colouring. There's nothing I can do about it, as lots of people have as well. I'm going to take a Real Techniques Deluxe Concealer Brush. And I'm just going to run that underneath, and that's just going to moisturise it so that the under eyes don't look so dry. And that way, hopefully, the makeup won't cake on top of it afterwards. This is a, hardly any colour whatsoever, so I can take this over my fine lines as well. It's not going to cause any damage. It's just going to hydrate it. Then I'm going to take this Estee Lauder. This is has rubbed off completely, but it, I know it's Estee Lauder, and I think it's double wear brush concealer, maybe BB. It's all rubbed off. Um, it is 3C Medium Cool. I like this product, hence why the label is rubbed off. It's kind of quite a cool tone, but very lightweight concealer. I use it under my eyes and a little bit down my nose and my cupid's bow. That's not all the concealers I use, I do use another one as well. Um, my under eyes is my main bane. So I do use quite a good amount of products there, but I build with them so they don't look that way. Um, I want it to look as natural as possible. Rather than putting one cakey layer on, I try to build it so it looks more natural. That's how I kind of get away with it. That concealer again is very lightweight so I can drag that up into the fine line district. The next one I use, I can't take to the fine line district. It's a little bit too, where is she? It's a little bit too much coverage. This is the Kevin Aquan concealer in, um, Supernatural concealer in medium. It's a really good coverage, but it does actually look supernatural which I like and take that around my nose as well where I've had a cold don't forget to do right the nostrils as well 
a little bit on my chin. And I will come back and do my cheeks where my blemishes are, although they're not offending me at the moment. They're pretty covered from that foundation, which was only light. So that concealer lives in that dark bit there. It's the only place that's going to be. Anything that's left on the brush that I think, oh, that's a bit much for my next step, I'll just use on any areas I need a bit more, and then I'll go in and pick up some more. So just pushing it over my blemishes rather than wiping it. What's left on my brush just over those little annoying dried up spots. Then in with my Real Technique setting brush and a little bit of Charlotte Tilbury. Um, this one is an O2 Airbrush Flawless, is it? Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfector. Just to grab any areas I want to powder a bit. I like to use a small brush, this is actually one of my favourite brushes, just so that I can, I can only powder where I really need to. I didn't really put anything up here because the foundation matches my skin, so I haven't, it's not been necessary for me. I don't have pigmentation up there, so I can stay away from that area a little bit more. But I do like to powder around my mouth, on my chin. Then in with my Delilah Sunset Bronzer and a big bronzer brush. This is actually a Real Techniques powder brush, but I love it for just dusting bronzer. I forgot about this bronzer, but I really like it. It's quite, it comes out quite strong, so beware. And I'm gonna take that down my neck. I do need to soften that bronzer, so I am aware. I'm gonna take that down my neck so my neck isn't completely forgotten about. A little bit over my nose. Tiny bit heavy handed with the bronzer, wasn't I? Never mind. On to the lips, a little bit of Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. I know I always wear this lipstick, but there's a reason. It's because I love it. And when I wear it, people always say, what's on your lips? I love it. I love that you can make the lips look a tiny bit bigger with it as well. kind of a waxy texture so it doesn't have give you a really harsh line and then inside the lip I went in with um, Tom Ford Spanish pink I knew my lipstick wasn't going to last and I wasn't going to get time to touch it up so I went very very soft on the lip because it wasn't that important then lastly on the cheeks Maybe not lastly, because there was a couple of other things I did. Lashes, a little bit of glitter. Um, on the cheeks, a tiny bit of Hush Cream Colour Base. Just on the top of my cheekbone. Just to grab the light. And then a little bit of this um, Ginger Lily uh, by Le Metier de Beauté. I don't know how you say that. Le, Met Le Metier de Beauté hopefully. Um, this is actually a cheek and lip thing, but I like it on the apples of my cheeks because I think it adds texture. You know when your skin is all looking a bit matte, I like to, I'm all about textures. It just softens the skin and I just like it. I just like it. I was going to put one of these still a glitter and glow um, eyeshadows on the top, but I felt like it might be a bit too much to go and do makeup on someone, so I didn't but I think they're fantastic and would look great over this. So instead, I got a little bit of reflex from MAC in pink and a little bit in blue and just pushed it over the top, so it just grabbed it. My favorite brush to apply glitter reflex is a Real Technique shading brush. It's nice and short, so you can really push the product in. This one is the blue. And I just pushed that over the top, so hopefully the camera's picking that up. Now these don't need any primer, they just stick to the skin really nicely because it's such fine glitter fragments, it, it doesn't really fly away so much. And then in with the pink, let me check this one's pink, yes it is pink. Doesn't look that pink, maybe it does when it's on. So the pink just went over the top. And 
then lastly, in with some lashes, these were the ones I actually wore, which are MAC 36. So the BAFTAs were so much fun, and after the event ends, you then go for a meal. So we were all ushered into this room, and I think we were ushered into the wrong room, because I turned around, we were just, me and Sam were just chatting, um, and I turned around, and there was Angelina Jolie, Orlando Bloom, Jennifer Lawrence, Salma Hayek, is that how you say it, Salma Hayek, all in this room with us, and we were like, I think we're in the wrong room, but let's just stay here. So, um, yeah, it was really funny to see all those little celebrities up close. I wasn't even bothered by the celebrities. I was just looking at their makeup because I was like, okay, whose makeup actually up close do I like? Oh, okay. I have to go and have a smear done in a minute. I'm going to be the most glamorous person they've had in for a smear today. Um, got to get it checked. Got to get it checked. Make sure you go and get yourself checked. Um, it's not nice, but we all have to do it. Right, let me put a little bit more mascara on the lashes so they kind of blend together. And that was my finished BAFTA makeup that I then had to wear for, wear for, wear, wear for hours. Um, and then I just put this headpiece on, which I will show you now, which I got from Fennec. And it just had a little bit of mesh, so you couldn't really see. The annoying thing was I couldn't drink. <laughs> I had to keep like, folding it over, but it was fine. So that was my BAFTA makeup. If you want to see the dress I wore, go over to my Instagram, and there will be a picture of it on there with this makeup, so you can see. Hope you enjoyed it, guys. Don't forget to like and share, and let us know what other videos you would like. Um, it's nice to put a lot of makeup on my face. And um, yes, I feel like I'm getting married. Just put my veil back. Um, I hope you have a nice day. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, all of those things. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Um, don't forget to go and have your smear done if you're a girl. Um, and that's it. Have a nice day. See you soon.